Hey Jen is a great video creator, but on the scripting side, you get to shine. Now your own message and your fantastic communication can be added to the mix. On the script page, you enter and edit your script. On this page, you will see a bunch of icons. It's a collection of features that can be good to have readily available, such as the ability to upload a text document with your script in it. Enter your script in the text box and choose which voice will read it out. If your chosen avatar has a default voice, that's the one you will hear, but you can easily change it to whatever you want. I want my own 11 Labs voice in this case, so I click on the voice box. Select my voices and then the voice I named Philip Professional. Now a script is needed for your avatar to read out. In this case, in true cooking show fashion, I've already prepared one. I'm a freelancer, but this sales thing, it's never been my forte. I'll see if my digital clone is a little more comfortable with that. I copy the text from my text document and paste it into the text box in HeyGen. To preview how the script sounds, press the play button next to the script box. Now you get to listen through the sound and make your own judgment about its quality. Imagine a digital clone so lifelike it's almost impossible to distinguish from a real person. An avatar that not only looks or... I think my example sounds pretty good, but I'd still like to hear an alternative, so I'll raise the speed a bit, but also try reducing the stability control and raising the style control a bit to hear what it does to intonation and movement melody. Remember that these adjustments are only available on voices from 11 Labs. On stock voices, you instead have speed and sometimes also emotional state to adjust. My example got better right away, I think. Imagine a digital clone so lifelike it's almost impossible to distinguish from a real person. An avatar that not only looks authentic, but also... You may hear words that don't quite sound right. Unusual names or foreign language words are usually the ones causing problems. This leads me into the pronunciation correction feature. It is quite limited in its current form, but better than nothing. When you highlight a word in the script, an option called pronunciation appears. When you click on it, you get the option to print the word out as it sounds. Highlight the problematic word and try to write it out as phonetically as you can. It may take some patience from you. Heijen claims that you should be able to use the standard phonetic characters found in dictionaries, but when I tried it, it didn't give me the desired results. Sometimes the speech proceeds a little too quickly. The pause for effect thing is something that HeyGen doesn't have a 100% feel for yet. If you feel that a pause is missing, you can insert pauses in your script yourself. Once you have the text cursor at the place in the script where there should be a small pause, you can easily tap the little clock icon to add a half second pause. Add more for a longer break. If you want to divide your script a little more clearly, you can place the cursor where there should be a natural break in the script and just press the enter key. The script block is divided into two and between them you can insert a small break of one to three seconds. The voice generator takes a lot of things into account in its interpretation of a script and after a few tries you'll get a feel for how the script looks linked to how the voice interprets exclamation marks, question marks, hyphens, line breaks and so on. Feel free to stay on this page for a while enter a few different scripts and test different voices and voice settings yourself. Practice makes perfect.